Hello guys and welcome to a new Blender tutorial. Today we will do an introduction to rigging with grease pencil in Blender. The reason for this video is that we are still in our modifiers, grease pencil modifier series and the armature modifier is one of the modifiers of course and the second reason is that some people maybe are used to frame per frame some people maybe are new to blender we need to make something for beginners to introduce them to rigging to know all the options they have before diving in and start to do advanced things with rigging we already talked about several tools in blender to make rigging better easier and more powerful such as constraints drivers some plugins like rigify and shape keys shape keys not supported yet by grease pencil unfortunately but today we just introduce basic rigging methods including two i never used in my tutorials before so first what is rigging it's using an armature to manipulate an object usually a humanoid or animal character but not necessarily even a flower or maybe a rock could be rigged an armature is a structure similar to the skeleton in real life and like a skeleton it's made of any number of bones first we need a grease pencil character like this winged boy i'll put the sky for you for free on gumroad donations of course are more than welcome and now we need to make an armature for this guy so shift a and then we look for armature single bone we go to edit mode by hitting tab on the keyboard and then move this bone to be the torso bone z move it here we take this ball select the ball only and then gz to move it just on the z axis move it here and then we hit e to extrude it and create the second bone z again to constrain it on the z axis and we create the head bone let's name this guy by hitting f2 on the keyboard torso and then we select the head bone f2 and name it head now we duplicate this bone by hitting shift d put it here select the ball move it with g here e to extrude it and create this guy maybe i just duplicate these two so select them both shift d move them here select this ball put it here and the other ball so let's name this guy f2 arm forearm tie and leg now we create a bone for the wing shift t take this ball move it with g f2 wing now we have all the left bones so let's parent this left part here to the torso bone for that we select this bone and then shift select this guy and then this guy lastly we shift select the torso bone and you see all these bones have an orange border and this one a yellowish border so this one is active we hit ctrl p to parent the three bones to that bone so make parent and keep offset so that all the bones stay in their position but are parented to this guy for this one it is already parented to this because we extruded it from this one so when you extrude a new bone it's automatically parented to the original bone this one too is parented to this one and this one is parented to this one so there is a chain of parenting where all the bones are directly or indirectly parented to this guy now since we did our parenting we can symmetrize these bones to the other side and for that we need to rename them we need to have an l extension in the name like this dot l or dot left so that blender can know that these bones are left bones and can symmetrize them to the right side we we'll do it automatically so let's select all these left bones select maybe use shift to select the legs right click go to names auto name left right now we select them again select these and then shift select these now we go to armature symmetrize Ta-da! and voila let's go to object mode control tab object mode select our grease pencil object now we can go to modifier properties and add an armature modifier we don't have to do this really you just have to select your grease pencil object and then shift select the armature and then ctrl p to parent the object to the armature and we have all this option to parent we will choose parent it with empty groups so what this will do select the 
free pencil object again it will add a modifier it will add your armature here and it will also add vertex groups in the object data properties panel and the vertex groups all these vertex groups every group is named as one of the bones and these will help us to bind strokes to our armature if you want to know the basics about vertex groups and weight and the ways to add weight to vertices check the video on the top right or in the description now this is the first binding method but before we try this we will try the second method the bone envelope so we disable vertex groups and we enable bone envelopes now we select our armature and go to pause mode so this method as you may have guessed doesn't need vertex groups to work so we can rotate this bone with r on the keyboard or move it with g and if you want to see how this exactly works you go here and their object data properties and their viewport display you change the display from octahedral to envelope and now you can see this kind of force field around this bone so this is the influence area of the bone this bone doesn't care about vertex groups or layers it just cares about the vertices near the bone or inside the envelope of the bone we have also some settings if you select one bone and go under bone properties and there the form you see that's the distance of the envelope the area of the influence it has and also the envelope weights how much influence it has on that area this value can be zero to one and even bigger than one you can also change the radius of the head and the tail of the bone so this is it you see that this method is not perfect and it needs some adjusting for example it's hard to adjust here in the head because we need like a round area of influence but if we make it bigger it will envelop the head but also envelop the whole torso here you may need to adjust the position of your bones too i guess it's not suitable for this kind of character but maybe you can find the use for it on a simpler object it allows you to just create an armature and start deforming your object very quickly without the need to create and assign vertices to vertex groups now we will disable bone envelopes and enable vertex groups to show you the second method of binding and now go to our vertex groups here and we start assigning vertices to the groups so now let's go to edit mode by hitting tab let's add a new area here make sure that this area is active before you go here look for this plus sign and then drag it here so add the new properties panel go here to object data properties let's keep this one for layers and this one we keep it here in vertex groups so that we don't have to scroll up and down when we want to assign our vertices so here auto lock inactive layers is active let's select the head layer and let's go to the head vertex group and everything is selected but let's make sure of that by hitting a to select everything and then assign let's go to the torso layer again a to select everything select the torso vertex group assign and then select the arms layer we could hide all the other layers so we can see clearly what we are doing let's select the right arm and then select arm right here assign and then the left arm select arm l here assign six and a half hours later and then we select the right wing select these vertices assign and we could have done this using the weight paint mode here everything is weight painted let's unhide all the layers so the torso the head the arms the forearms the ties so as i said if you want to learn about this method you can check our basic vertex groups and weights video now let's go back to object mode let's unhide our armature let's select it we are still in pose mode which is great let's try the head bone yes it moves the head this one is the root bone because it is the one that all the bones are parented to so it just moves the whole body this one moves the leg like this so you see here that i didn't set up my bones correctly this ball here should be on top of the knees let's change the display of the bones back to octahedral and we can actually hit a and reset our rotation you can by the way reset rotation with alt r location if you change the place of the bone with alt g 
and also scale you can scale the bone with s and then you hit alt s to reset scale i think i'm gonna go back to object mode select my character and try to hide the thighs maybe so the arms are again tab to edit mode and then move this bone here so back again to object mode and hide our ties select the armature control tab to pause mode and here it works better and also we can add bendy bones with this bone selected we go here to bone properties and under bendy bone we change the segments number to five and here also to five bendy bones give this nice deformation to the strokes it works even here where we didn't fix the knee if we add bendy bones so again five and five you see that it animates much better so this is the best method it takes a little more time than the envelope method but it's much more precise and much more powerful and good looking and now let's see the third method let's first reset our poses a to select everything alt r alt g and alt s let's get out of pose mode let's hide our boy collection here in our stroke or character we just worked with and and hide a new boy here they look the same but they actually are not the same because here we have much more layers so this third method it relies on relations or layers relations so maybe it could be called layer relations method or layer parenting method this method won't use the armature modifier but bind the layers directly to bones each layer to a bone that's why here we need more layers we need a layer for each part for the left arm separately from the right arm so as we will see this method is simpler than the vertex group method but it needs a little bit more preparation let's unhide our armature and this time we won't even need to parent our grease pencil object to the armature because each layer will be parented directly to a bone let's go here and the relations in the parent we choose our armature in the type we choose bone and since i already did that it's directly put here wing r for our wing r layer i think i'm gonna yes get my relations here and layers here so that i don't have to scroll so torso yes here it is arm left here it is arm right a few inches later and this is the last one very nice let's select our armature go to pose mode and try to move these bones they work very nicely except here because again i don't have the ball here on top of the elbow so let's try to fix it by going to edit mode let's select this ball and bring it to the elbow place here and then back to pose mode and try to do it and you see that it didn't work even if you edit in edit mode which is supposed not to deform your strokes you see that the hand or the forearm followed the ball when i moved it up let's do Control z to yes what we need to do to fix this is to select our stroke go to the layers and go to the forearm remove the armature we do it for the arm too like this i should hide one of these either the arm or the forearm and select my armature go to edit mode and fix the ball here to the elbow back to my stroke and hide my arm we put back the parenting so armature arm left and for arm armature and for arm l again to pause mode and remove this and you see it works fine so whenever that happens like here also you will need to do the same there's something also another limitation in this method is that you can't use bendy bones now let's add some segments so five here and five here you see even if we have bendy bones so change display from octahedral to b bone the bendy bones do work but it doesn't show in our rig but it is a good method it is better anyway than the envelope method and much more stable and it works best with characters that don't need bendy bones as i said we didn't even need to parent the object to the armature because every single layer is parented to one of these bones so these are the three methods i hope this video was useful for you thank you for watching and see you in another video peace